Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a very quick review on this Steelcraft Cruiser. So it is one of the cheaper prams that you can buy. You buy them from Target, but I believe right now they are a sold out product, but they're still floating around on the secondhand market. So if you did see them on the secondhand market and were thinking about something like this, then I want to show you about it. <laughs> so let's just start at the top and we'll work our way down. First off, we're going to look at the hood. I love the color. I think it's so cute. Um, it's just not a great hood. It clicks and I hate that. <laughs> and it doesn't like go out all the way. It always has this like resistance that it wants to go out but it won't. So I really dislike that. Although I did see a few people say that it doesn't block any sun out. So it doesn't have the extendable or anything like that. That's as much hood as you get. You do however get a little peekaboo window here. So it's like a mesh and plastic in there, which is strange. And it has this little uh, leather, I don't know if it's leather, it could be fake leather, pin to hold it there. And then you can roll the window up if you wanted to always look through it. So there's that. Um, then we have our seat. So our seat, this is sitting fully up, and at the back we have a handle which reclines it, which is a one-hand recline, which I love. I appreciate that. So lift that up, and you've got the, oh, that's all the way down, I don't know. One, two, three. Yeah, so you've got three reclines. It doesn't really lie flat. You can see that that's completely flat, and Bub's still sitting up a lot. So that's not great. We have a, removable belly bar which is on a swivel handlebar which I absolutely love. It's basically the Strider compact seat but I think this one might be a tiny bit smaller. I'm not sure it could be the same size but it's very similar to the Strider compact seat. It's basically a cheaper version of the Strider compact. It's the same belly bar, <laughs> exactly the same belly bar of the Strider compact. And then the seat footwell is, I actually really like this seat footwell. So let me get down here. <laughs> it has buttons on either side, but it goes from like right down here, and then you just click all the way up. So all these are spots, and it goes right up to here, which I love. It makes it like a little, I don't know, like a little bassinet cocoon kind of area. I can just put up. I just feel like it's really cute, like that. Um, so I really love this, and I don't know why they didn't put that setting on the Strata Compact to have it go up higher, or maybe they do, but the recline's different, I don't know. So I don't know why they did that, but they did. Let's go across to the handlebar. So you've got buttons on the inside. With my thumbs, I press the buttons and adjust the handlebar so it goes right low to right high. Not right low, but very low to very high, so that's also an easy to use. Mine has a slight split handlebar, which is okay. <laughs> um, there's not a lot to show about this pram, really. It pushes fairly okay, but I, it has a very like wide wheelbase and like a low center of gravity. It doesn't feel very tippy, I don't think. Like. I always say to put your nappy bag on and have it slide down the handlebar and rest down here so that it um, is a low center of gravity. If you try and hang it off the top <laughs> up here, it's going to want to tip because it's having all this weight here. Whereas if it's hanging down here, it's going to be okay because it can sit uh, on the wheelbase really and it's just extra weight to be pushing along. Uh, let's turn the seat around so it does face forward as well. So we have two buttons either side, exactly the same as Strata Compact, but it's a different button. So these ones you lift up with, with your fingers. And I still use my thumbs to take the belly bar off. So like that. And just slot them back in. Nice and easy. And then you have your three reclines on the front. So one, two, three. 
still nice and easy to push. It, it's not too bad to push. There are definitely better frames to push, but overall, pretty good. Oh, one key thing. There is a pocket on the back, which I really love this feature. You can pop your things in. Um, and the peekaboo window now is where you would use it. You can see through, see what Bob's doing. Um, you've got lockable wheels at the front, so let's turn them well, let's turn them sideways. So for the lockable wheels, we're going to push the red button down on either side, and then we're going to turn them to the front, and you'll hear them click in. So that's for like a rough terrain. Um, most prams have it. So to take that off, we're going to click the red buttons up, and that takes it off to the swivel again. Um, just continue with the wheels. To take the wheels off on the front, you have these, like a little cap almost on the top, and it has two arrows. So what you're gonna to want to do is uh, turn it, and you can lift the frame up or lift the wheel out, and there's your wheel off, nice and easy. So let's just turn that and put it back in. Oops. I wonder if you need to turn it to put it back in. I just need to light it up. As soon as it lines up, Oh, it's lighting up. Okay. Well, I turned it and put it back in and it went back in. So that's how you get the front wheels off. And the back wheels just have a little silver, like a button in here, which is normally what they have on the steel cross. And that's how that comes off. So really easy. Uh, the basket. Pretty big basket. Pretty easy to get into with all the reclines of the seat. Like it's not really that hard to get into. You don't have side access, but you do have front and back access, depending on the position of your seat. If you were to put your uh, seat all the way down, then you obviously don't have that access, but you do have the option to lift it up if that was the only way that you could get into your seat. I can't do it from this angle. <laughs> there we go. Last thing, <laughs> not my favorite thing about this pram is the fold. So the fold is really not a favorite. I'm not sure if you can fold it with the seat on, but I really don't think you could considering uh, this piece here, the handle is one piece of frame and it doesn't fold. So that means your pram is gonna be a really long fold. So let's have a look at the folds and I'll show you what I think of it. Okay, so to fold, I'm gonna take the seat off. So push the hood back and take the seat off. Just gonna pop that over here. Uh, the fold, everything red on this pram does something. <laughs> uh, well, I guess there's black buttons here, but I feel like this is red because it's to do with the fold and the red is on the brake for Australian Standard. I forgot to show you the brake. It's a one foot brake. It's very easy to use. Just press on it, lift it up. Oops, I'm not very good at lifting it up at the moment. And you're good to go. Okay, back to the fold. So we have two levers at the top. We have a safety down here, and we have another, I don't know, part of folding, I don't know what you call it. It took me a few goes to get it and I couldn't figure it out myself at the start. So to fold, we go with these two levers at the top here, two fingers either side, pull up. And you notice down here, there's actually windows on either side of the frame and they were green a minute ago because it was locked into place, but now they're red because I've pulled up on these two red bars here. Just to show you guys the little windows that I'm talking about, they are just here. You can see that it's green. And on this side, just here and it's green. And I just found out that there's even these little windows under here. So when you push this up, you can see that it goes red, which is really cool. So it's clipped in, or you can take it off and it's red. You can see that it's clipped in. It's an awesome little safety feature. I really love these windows. It is a common thing of Steelcraft to pop in their products. They also put it on their capsules. 
So I've pulled up on that and it's turned that red and now I'm ready to pull this red lever. So let me get this handlebar out of my way because I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> Day two. Okay, to fold it, two red levers up the top. I'm gonna pull with my pointer finger and my index finger. Is that what this one is? I don't know. I'm gonna pull them and it's gonna change the two little windows to red. And then once they're red, I'm still gonna keep it pulled, but I want to, um, like, first I'm gonna get this out of the way. I wanna get this, like, red and kind of like pull up. Why is it so easy sometimes and not other times? All right, that's it, fold it, done, easy. <laughs> to put it back up, we want to make sure that the red windows, where do they go? Red windows are what? Oh, they're down here. I'm pretty sure that they don't lock in, but this safety does lock in down here, so we want to pull the safety back. And there's like a plastic piece right here that you put your foot, so we want to put our foot on that and pull um, the handle and push on that bar. Is it gonna go, it's stopped. Do I need these out again? I don't know, I pulled these out again. I don't know if that will help. I'm gonna straighten the bar because I'm gonna like pull on it. And this pram kind of needs a bit of a kick at the end, so go. <laughs> All right, we've only got a half window for here. I see a half window, okay, now I've got two windows inside and it's locked into place and it's ready to go. Just, it can be like a tricky fold. Like before, I don't know if I had the wrong angle or what was going on, but it just didn't want to fold for me. Like it's just going in right there by itself. I guess I just got like the right angle and I'm not even using this piece. But that basically just helps this slide up because that's all it's really doing is sliding up and down with this. Oh, why is it not going on the safety? Okay, safety. Nope. Yes. I don't know. There it is. There's the fold. It's not a great fold. I'm really not a fan of it. Um, it's Paul. It's huge. I just, <laughs> you can, you know, pull this up, but it still makes it a huge fold. I actually put this into an old BMW, so it's not a brand spanker, um, but like a standard size boot. It was actually a struggle to get in there, height wise and length wise, it kind of only just fit, plus I had to put the seat in and... You know, I just felt like it was a bit of a pain. What way would you put it like that? And then you have to either fold that all the way down, all the way up. I'd probably go all the way down, like that. Still a huge fold. <laughs> you could leave the seat on there, but um, you see, it's right up here. So that's to click it in. That's kind of a ridiculous fold, unless you have like a big full drive and can stand it up in the back. Yeah, not an awful pram, not a great pram. Oops. Just for reference, this is my Subaru Forester. And this is the fold of the cruiser in my Forester. So it takes up like the whole back. Yes, I do have like a big black bag here, which is always in my car. And I always fit all my frames in there. It fits, but I just feel like without a mid-size full drive or a full drive it's going to be a bit of a hard squeeze like i said this was a similar car that i tried to put it in the boot i don't have the keys for that one right now otherwise i would have used it and showed you but i just wanted to show it in my car which is like a huge fold just a close-up of the pram the seat so here's the harness. I explained that it was broken and this one didn't actually fit. Uh, sorry, this one was broken off. But it still works because it clips in together like this. Okay. 
and it's still can clip in. It doesn't need the third prong there. Just a view. The basket. The pocket in the back seat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Um, if you really enjoy this pram, let me know in the comments. If you have something else to say about this pram, put it in the comments. 